Hello everyone and a special hello to all my American viewers because it's Thanksgiving which I'm sure you'll know if you're watching this in the US of A. Hopefully you've got the day off work or school and are having a lovely time. Now we don't have Thanksgiving in the UK. We have something called Harvest Festival which is something put on by churches and schools, but we don't have a specific day for Harvest Festival and we certainly don't get the day off. Well, it's Thanksgiving, so I'm going to give thanks by opening an American vacuum cleaner. And here it is, it's another Hoover commercial to go with my collection of Hoover commercial vacuum cleaners. This is a Hoover commercial guardsman upright bagless vacuum cleaner assembled in the USA it says on the box. Hopefully this will be okay. I've had a bit of bad luck regarding American imports recently as you'll have seen if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram because uh, I've put uh, some rather <laughs> graphic pictures up of uh, one vacuum that uh, had quite a well quite a lot of damage. You'll be seeing that video, but probably not until next year. Because this could be the last American vacuum you see this year on my channel. But I do have more coming up. Now, this has been opened, I expect, because they have to open them at customs. So, let's hope they've put everything back. So, we have a parts list. Now, this says it's model c 143310 so this is still a model you can buy. I got this one from Amazon.com. It's quite possible to buy stuff from the UK from Amazon.com, but of course you have to pay quite high shipping costs and import charges as well. So it makes it a lot more expensive. If you were to buy this in US of A, it'll be a lot cheaper for you. Okay, let's have a look. Right. Oh well, well first out, we've got a two-piece handle and then this looks like the bag assembly well it's sort of a bag it's a bag but it's also a dust cup and I wanted this because back in the UK we did have a power plus dust cup model that's uh, had a similar arrangement to this. It wasn't a very good cleaner. I had one from new, but they're very, very rare in the UK now. Very hard to get, uh, very hard to get hold of. So I thought, well, at least if I got this, it'll be similar to having a Power Plus dust cup again. So that I'll open that in a minute. We've got little instruction guide, of course. Being a, a commercial model, we've got a nice heavy duty ribbed orange cable and then under some more packaging let me just move the handle up take this out so far I don't think anything's missing so here's the main body of the vacuum in, in a very much old-fashioned old style of Hoover so we'll pop that down check the box no that's everything seems okay doesn't look damaged right let's get this bad boy assembled so here's all the parts out of the box we've got the cleaner head obviously the handle and here is the bag arrangement so it is a sort of a bagless machine Hoover first introduced this dust cup in 1984 in the UK a cleaner with this arrangement and as I said I did have one and it was very messy to empty basically all this is is a cloth bag vacuum with a plastic container at the bottom that you can remove and to empty the machine you were supposed to unhook the spring shake the bag vigorously so all the dirt dropped into the dust cup and then you'd wait for the dirt to settle a bit and then you'd open up the bottom with the two big clips take off the dust cup it'll be easy to do when the machine's on I'll put it I'll show you afterwards 
and then empty out the dirt. But I found that I was forever having to open up the bag and vacuum the inside out because it just lost so much suction really, really quickly. And when I did buy it at the time, I, I thought, I, I really should have got the bagged version. I regretted buying it. I wish I had one now, of course, but back in the day, I, I regretted my purchase. But um, you can buy this, I believe, in a bagged version as well. I couldn't find it. I would like this in a bagged version. In fact, it probably would be better bagged, this. Okie dokie, first thing I need to do is attach the handle. So I need to remove this part here, the plate, and... Uh, Ah, the screws at the front, they're normally at the back. It's at the front there on this model, so it looks like it's a, a regular screw head. So I'll just put a large flat head screw onto the screwdriver and undo that. There we are. Oh dear. Bits are coming off already. Yes, they, <laughs> they don't make them like they used to, do they? They certainly don't. Can't get the rest of that out. It's it's stuck. Hmm. I need to take the whole thing out, I think. Hang on, I know what I'll do. It's a very old design, this, really. There we go. And as I said, this is a commercial cleaner. It is designed for commercial use. Now, the bits that are coming off, I think, are, are bits of the uh, <laughs> screw. Oh, dear, this is... Oh, what a faff that is. Honestly, oh, it doesn't... That doesn't bode well. The screw itself doesn't feel very good quality at all. Right, well, we need this part of the handle. And uh, I think it goes in with the single hole at the bottom. Hmm. I think we'll have to move the cable out of the way. Line the hole up. Let me just turn it round. Oh, it looks better that way. And then we can pop the other, the screw, well, the nut part through the hole. And then this bit Hang on, is that the right way around? I don't like that there. Should that be there? I don't know if the cable should be on the inside. Okay, folks, well, disregard everything I've just done, reassembling the handle. It seems the instructions aren't very good. It seems that um, you put this end in first with the two holes. Not sure why there's two holes. Um, because there's a little groove there which allows the cable to sort of fit in, I think. Deary me, I, I never have this trouble with vintage Hoover cleaners. Uh, hang on. I'm just trying to do it because there is a little... Ooh, heck. There we are, that's it, that's a bit tricky. There's a little cap on the end of this, a little black cap. I'm not sure if you're supposed to remove it, but it kept popping off when I was trying to insert the handle, but it hasn't popped off this time, so I think that's correct. And, oh, that goes that way. This, oh, this is... Oh, hang on. No, it must go this way. Oh, that's it. There we go. That little hole at the bottom. There's two holes, a smaller hole at the bottom. There's that little sort of this little hook thing there. So that goes in there first. Then you push it forward. And then that should all hold together. I put the screw in. Or the or the bolt, whichever's Right. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, I think, with this bit. I've assembled enough vacuums, you'd think I'd know how to do it by now, but no, seems I don't. Had this been a vintage 70s machine, it would be assembled already, but anyway. I'm being a bit more careful assembling this, I don't want to snap anything. It could happen, and if I break a part of this, well, 
be difficult to get the well I can get the parts obviously but it's going to cost me a lot more money to get them but I think that's it looking at the back just a bit more tight I don't want to over tighten oh there it is oh it's going in now yes yes I can feel it right that's it good so that's the uh, handle attached and you can see now that the cable is coming up it's got a little groove to uh, to keep it secure so that's good right so that's the lower handle assembled we now need to attach the upper handle first thing we need to do is to put the cord protector over the lower handle it does move up and down if you need to adjust it then we take the upper handle and that goes with this big hook to the front and then we just locate that over the lower handle and the cord protector making sure we line up the holes now there's a square on one side of this handle and a circle on the other and the square has to line up so the cord protector and the cable goes on the front of this machine not down the back or the side it has to go on the front right let's line up the holes right and you need to line up the square there's a square there's a square hole here look but that goes over a circular hole and then we've got another square hole on the the cord protector whatever you call them now cord relief and so now I've got to pop in the bolt with the little slight square part I don't know we're going out of focus there we go I finally got it all lined up it's a bit easier if you lie the cleaner on its side so I think it's all lined up I'm not going to over tighten until I'm I can be sure it seems to be going in what a faff that was right that's secure I think let's turn it round and check yes that's all uh, that's all in place okay I think it's time to attach the bag <laughs> I bet some of you watching <laughs> as I was doing this knew that I was making a mistake but it doesn't actually say in the instructions it does show the dust cup and bag assembly but you know what I've done what a silly sausage <laughs> well it's a good job I can laugh about it <laughs> how does this you see this bit here the handle is supposed to go through there and oh it's not gonna happen is it <laughs> so I'm gonna have to I'll disconnect the lower handle I'm not gonna film this I could edit this all back again and uh, make it look like I'm I'm a really professional person but no we'll leave the mistake in I'm a human being I've made a mistake what are you going to do about it are you going to mock me in the comments well feel free to mock me <laughs> never mind so this has got to come off oh let's hope I can do it without taking the rest of the handle apart I'm hoping I can just unhook this again whoops there's the washer gone take the handle off so folks before you assemble this cleaner if you're silly enough to buy one um, <laughs> put the dust cap on first stop laughing at me I can't help it I'm an old man having a senior moment but it didn't actually you know I, I you know I, I'm going to defend myself and say that Hoover didn't state in the instructions to slide the bag assembly on so I blame Hoover it's always Hoover's fault right I'm gonna to have to take it off then because you don't attach it to the base of the cleaner yet you need to slide it do I yes oh there we are crikey right <laughs> okay all I'm going to do now folks is reattach the base of the handle which you saw me do earlier 
Okay then, so attaching the bellows is even harder with the bag and dust cup assembly attached. It's best if you lower the handle a bit. And again, you need to locate that at the bottom and move the doobry. Oh, this is, <laughs> I'm getting quite cross. <laughs> have I done it? If I have, I'll be amazed. No, I didn't think I had. <laughs> right, I'll do it this way. This way might work. Oh. I don't remember having this much trouble assembling my Power Plus dust cup back in 1984 or 85 whenever I bought it. Right, I think that's... I think that's on. That's the bellows attached to the base of the cleaner. Right, almost there, folks, finally. And now, folks, all I have to do is attach the spring to the little hook at the top. I'm not sure why the, why we've got a piece of string as well. What on earth, what purpose does that serve, I wonder? Let's take the, now I'll take the bag slide off. That is metal. I'm not sure why there is, I'll, I'll, I'll pop the, uh, Perhaps the string comes off. Please comment below. I can't see any anything in the instructions. That looks a mess. Looks a mess with that bit of string. Well, here it is. Uh, I think one of the problems I've had today is I'm hangry. Have you heard that term? I should have had my lunch before making this video because I'm hungry and I'm now angry because I'm hungry. But thankfully, I've got a freezer and fridge and cupboards full of food. So that's something I can be thankful for that as soon as I've finished chatting to you and, and demonstrating this, I can go and have some lunch. Here it is then, Hoover Guardsman commercial, finished in black and orange. It's got the uh, clear, and again, the quality. Yeah. Uh, it's got a clear bumper, which is supposed to protect your baseboards or skirting boards, as we call them in the UK, from being marked and I will see your furniture. That goes all the way around. This is the on off switch, which is a bit of an unusual place to have it. You can just about see where my finger is. So that's where you switch the machine on and off. And you've got your handle release there, which locks in the operating position. Press it again and it goes fairly flat to the floor. And on the other side, we've got the height control. There's no markings. With that lever on its lowest setting, it's for high pile carpet. So let's see how many settings does it have? One, two, three settings. So with the machine, with that in the top position, the agitator's at its lowest point so that'll be for your stuck stuck down and contract carpeting and then your medium carpet high pile and then finally your longest pile carpets possibly like this rug I've got here here's the uh, dust cup which has a max fill line here shake bag vigorously up and down with cleaner off and bag spring unhooked before each use or emptying cup. So even before you use it, you're supposed to unhook the bag, give it a good shake, and then in theory, the dirt should fall, but a lot of the dirt does stick to the inside of the bag. These remove, and then you're supposed to be able to, oh dear, that is supposed to just come off. That is supposed to drop down because I've released both of the um, clips. Why is that not coming off? It's it's because it's new. I, I, I'm hoping it's because it's new. Ah, oh, yes, it is because it's new. Right. I mean, this is just the same, though. Just the same as the dust cup I had on my Power Plus dust cup. It's got a bit of a seal, a bit of a seal around here. And of course inside it's just a 
just a cloth bag. You can't quite see, but and it's not a very thick cloth bag either. The filtration on this isn't going to be great. So basically all that happens is it's a dirty fan cleaner, if you didn't know. So it's going to pick up the dirt, it's going to blow the dirt up the bellows, up this pipe here. And just it's open at the top, just where my hand is. So all the dirt just blows up into the bag. Um, the lighter dust will obviously stick to the bag and the heavier dirt should fall into the dust cup or with a little help when you shake the bag so you know I knew that this isn't a good design and if you were to get one of these the bagged one I'm sure will be infinitely better maybe I'll be able to get a bagged one one day but I just wanted this for nostalgia it's you know obviously it's not one I'm going to use right though so that's the machine I just need to show you the underside now Oh dear folks, bit of a disappointment on the underside of this cleaner. I don't know what I was expecting. Well, what I was expecting was probably the traditional type of Hoover brush roll. But instead, we have got this all plastic affair with fixed brushes. So if you need to replace the brushes, you have to replace the whole agitator. I do like these extra brushes though. Can you see those in the middle? just next to the central belt guard we never got those on the old-fashioned convertible and seniors also got little single brushes there as well at the edge it is designed in a way to sweep the dirt into the central air path but yeah oh dear i wonder if i can um, retrofit a proper metal agitator to this machine i'm not sure let's have a look at the uh, fan and everything which I'm guaranteed will be plastic just got two screws to undo and that didn't take much did it and another one excuse my hand in the way let's undo that one there we are then we should be able to take the plastic base plate off obviously would have been metal back in the day and here's the fan it's clear but it is definitely plastic there is a metal bearing underneath by the looks of it that uh, metal part you can see and of course the the spindle is metal i've got the belt i'm thinking i'm hoping that traditional hoover convertible senior belts will fit uh, there you go so very much in the style of the old hoovers but uh, certainly not built the same way okay then i've plugged the cleaner in now i live in the uk so we use 220 to 240 volts for our electrical supply whereas of course in the usa as you know you use 110 or is it 120 110 i think anyway it will not work in this country without my magic box and if you've seen my other videos where i've unboxed American imports, you'll, see, you'll have seen that box. So I've plugged it into the box. I don't have to show you that again. It's ready to go. All I have to do is press with the, the foot, my on off switch here. Just lower the handle first. It's a bit of an awkward place that. Another little fault with the cleaner. Having it up there, why didn't they put it on the handle or down here somewhere? I mean, to sort of go like that. Okay, let's give it a go, see if it works. <laughs> Well, it certainly sounds a lot better than I expected. That's uh, quite a nice sounding vacuum cleaner. So it sounds better than it feels. Now let's have a look inside the dust cup. Just done it obviously on a, this rug. Oh, wow. Crikey. Now that's the trouble with this particular rug. You know, it's very nice and soft, nice on the feet. The dogs like to lie on it, and I'm sure Daisy's enjoyed weeing on it. Um, but it's a bit difficult to clean with some vacuums because 
they're either too powerful so often especially with some cordless machines my Dyson uh, V11 has trouble with this unless I have it on the eco setting if I do anything above eco automatic or max on maximum the brush just stalls completely um, so I obviously had it on the high setting but crikey now there's quite a lot of dust in there that's not bad at all and some of that is um, some dry cleaning powder I believe that I put down on this rug so uh, it's removed that that my other and this vacuum has uh, vacuum this rug has been vacuumed quite a few times hmm that's interesting I wonder how dirty it is on the inside of the bag if I can have a look oh yeah I don't know if we can see in there it's a bit hard to get it there you go so there's dirt obviously on the inside of the bag well, I'll tip that dirt out anyway of course I should have shaken the bag really shouldn't I as per the instruction book but you can see even on that small area it's it's already a dirty business can you imagine what this would be like in a commercial environment how mucky this would get no well I'm gonna move the rug and we'll uh, clean up something else I think gone over the maximum fill line let me just shake the bag a bit release all the dirt oh dear as well as the leaves there's quite a bit of dust in there as well that's probably just come off the inside of the bag actually when I shook it they seem to have survived though I'm pretty glad because I might want to reuse these I thought it might shred them but obviously they're made of sterner stuff if these were real leaves raked in from the garden they would have been shredded a bit by now but they've <laughs> they've remained intact so when we don't have any trees anymore when the world's oceans have been depleted when we don't have any rainforests we'll we'll still have these polyester leaves so we can we can look at them and remember what leaves were like so we can uh, empty out these leaves Ooh. oh you missed that bit never mind here they are <laughs> apart from being a bit dusty from the inside of the bag they're all completely fine <laughs> well I'm pleased because I haven't wasted my money I thought after one no they're all absolutely is that one a little bit uh... no no crikey well folks I've gone a little bit mad but it's Thanksgiving so what better time to throw a load of muck down on the carpet and suck it up for no other reason other than the fact that some of you might like to see it being all cleaned up. Hopefully it will be cleaned up. It's a mini mess test this, it's not a huge one. I've only covered a small area of carpet, but it's enough. Thrown down a few autumn leaves for good measure. Right, let's give it a go. No idea how this is gonna do with a load of muck. I'm just going to adjust the setting to one above lowest. Okay, here goes. Oh dear, it doesn't like it doesn't like the Fruit Loops. It would be performing a lot better, I think, without the Fruit Loops because all that happens with the Fruit Loops is it sort of goes over the top of them and raises the head, which did happen in my recent shark demo. Some people did point that out, but I did see that for myself when I was editing the video. It would have performed better on the flower that shark 
if I hadn't put these Fruit, Loop, Fruit Loops down first, but I'm gonna have to scrunch these up. Best place for these awful sugar-filled cereal is not to eat them, is just to really crunch them up and use a vacuum. Don't put them in your body. These I certainly wouldn't want to because they are absolutely rock hard because obviously they're much too old to be eaten anyway. So they're a lot harder than they would be if these were fresh from the packet. So oh, I'm just gonna try and clean it all up anyway. Ugh. But apart from that, it didn't do a bad job. Let's have another go. <laughs> Well, this Hoover commercial guardsman did pick everything up, including the coloured sand. So it seems to do a good job of cleaning, even an extreme mess. But that noise it makes, um, it's, it doesn't sound right to me. But yeah, I probably wouldn't get one. This is not obviously, folks, if you're watching at this stage, and I doubt you are. But if you are, this is not a sensible, um, proper review, is it? It's just... A sad man fiddling about with a vacuum but you still saw how it worked you saw me assembling it you can hear how loud it is and you heard my opinions on the build quality so I wouldn't buy one if you want one possibly go for the bagged version it might be a bit better not keen on that brush roll not keen on the noise it makes but whether I've got a faulty one, I don't know. Here's all the muck look though. Well, a lot of it. Let's shake the bag. And after my lunch, as I said, I'll spend some time vacuuming out the, <laughs> vacuuming out the inside of that because I'm sure it'll be covered. Oh dear, I might have gone over the mats. Well, let's have a look. Well, it's certainly shredded Oh no, it's okay. For any of you who are bothered, I haven't gone over the Maxville line. And that reminds me, any of you who know the Isle of Wight and the coloured sands you can get on the Isle of Wight, that look, <laughs> looks a bit like that. So, yeah, look at that. It's absolutely turned the Fruit Loops, everything into quite a fine powder obviously going through ooh, I'm covered in muck now going through that fan eek, has really apart from the leaves the leaves are still okay but the rest of the muck the rice it's almost like rice flour now the rolled oats well they were jumbo rolled oats they're now <laughs> instant oats I don't think I'd fancy cooking this up though. I mean, it might be quite healthy for me. It's uh, 
it's all well it would have been edible before i put it on the carpet and ran it through the vacuum but yeah it's <laughs> absolutely annihilated all that muck hasn't it and covered me in muck as well well that's about the end of my thanksgiving video for this year hope you enjoyed it if you're hearing this you obviously did because you stayed till the bitter end so thank you very much for that obviously we've had thanksgiving now what's next well of course the big c is next the big c word which it's nearly december so i can mention christmas christmas is a coming i'm getting fat well fatter i'm going on a diet January the 1st, I'm getting rid of all this fat because I'm absolutely huge. The number of times I've had to edit videos to get rid of my fat belly, you know. You might think oh, I'm just doing, you know, sort of fancy shots, zooming in. But what I'm really doing is covering up the fact that I've got a huge belly. So it doesn't help when you're kneeling down either. It makes it look even bigger. But that's enough of my belly in personal life. If you want to see about... Uh, what I get up to apart from throwing muck on carpets I do have another channel called Roger's Bits and Doings there'll be a link somewhere you'll see me going off in a caravan you'll see me eating things I don't know what else I do I do various things the odd vacuum does pop up on that channel as well you can also follow me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook if you would like okay just to sum up well I've done the summing up there I wouldn't buy it I'm glad I've got one glad I had a go but if I were you, don't buy one. It's Christmas coming up. And yes, I will be doing the Advent series. In fact, I've got oh loads of Advent videos to do. I'll be doing 24 videos from December the 1st on this channel. They will all have a similar theme. You'll know what that theme is probably as soon as you see the first one or two videos. They will all be of a certain type of vacuum. So they'll all be, and I'll also be doing other videos as well in between, you know, I'll be dotting other normal videos in the advent. If you follow me on Roger's Bits and Doings, I've got two sets of advent videos because I'm doing a Happy Sock advent video only because the Happy Sock company saw the Happy Sock advent video I did last year and have sent me their new series of socks. So I've got 24 different pairs of socks to open, but I'd already planned an other other advent videos on my channel so there's going to be more than one advent video so you'll be able to see a lot of me over December whether that's a good thing I don't know if you're still watching now possibly you want to see more I'm absolutely covered in muck I'm starving hungry I'm going to end the video happy Thanksgiving we all should be thankful not just on this special day that you're celebrating in America Everyone, if you're watching this video, if you've got the means to sit and watch a grown man mucking about with a vacuum, it means you're quite lucky. You're better off than a lot of people. You're not lucky to be watching me, and that's not what I'm saying. You're lucky to be able to access the internet, YouTube. You've probably got food in your belly. You've probably got clothes on your back. I'm hoping you've got a nice home to live in and nice family that look after you and love you. And I hope you've got loved ones. Whatever you're doing on this Thanksgiving, give thanks for the blessings you have. You might not think you've got a lot, but be thankful for what you have got. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you, or you might look forward to seeing me in another video later on this week or next week. But stay tuned from December the 1st, as I said, Advent videos galore on this channel and my other channel, Roger's Bits and Doings. If you have any comments or questions about this vacuum, please comment below, please thumb me up. Click the bell icon if you subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video. So until the next time, happy Thanksgiving and it's goodbye from me and Daisy in the corner, fast asleep. Bye for now.